Sadly, the American dream is dead. When we have the vaccine, we have the military all lined up, and the military is going to be doing it uh, in a very uh, powerful manner. Uh, these are people that don't usually do vaccines. They do soldiers, and they do lots of other things that, frankly, are more difficult. But we have uh, our general, and uh, logistically, he's all set. Uh, Tony, do you want to say something about that? That is correct. Um, as the vaccine rolls out, we'll be getting them distributed. And as uh, you probably have heard, we are going to make sure that we do it in an equitable way. And it's representative of the populations who need it the most. Under this contract, our 33rd use of the Defense Production Act. Remember when you were saying, I didn't use it enough, I didn't use it enough. And now you heard it's the 33rd use. We don't talk about it all the time. Well, I knew him like everybody in Palm Beach knew him. Donald Trump, he's a Zionist. Donald Trump is Israel first. Israel first. And Trump is just a pawn like everybody else. They put him in place right now so that the entire Q thing could come up. So people would think that Trump was playing 4D chess and was working with Delta Force and all these other special operations guys. They knew too many people were waking up. So with all the censorship, with the American people waking up, they put Trump in place. They did it because that would give people that may possibly stand up, get off their asses, put down their remote controls, and start saying, wait a minute, we're losing our country rapidly. They put Trump into place and then insert or interject Q anon the same psychological operations departments of the military that they put Q into place to think in. So everyone thinks that everything's good to go, nothing to worry about, let it ride. Trump has this. I don't think you're stupid. I think you're being extremely misled and you're not looking at the whole picture. Because guess what? This is not a democracy. Donald Trump was not elected. He was selected. And if Donald Trump, right, if Donald Trump's working against the new world order, why in God's green earth is he allowing the 5G to be rolled out? American companies must lead the world in cellular technology. 5G networks must be secure. They must be strong. They have to be guarded from the enemy. We do have enemies out there. And they will be. They must also cover every community and they must be deployed as soon as possible. If Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. You know? <laughs> Stop it. Oh, it's so weird. Stop You know it. what? You are I'm moving on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you terrible. know. I knew Donald Trump. I represented New York. I got to know him. You were at his wedding? I was at his wedding. That's right. Did he register for gifts at his wedding? I don't remember. Did you get him a wedding gift? I went to his wedding. <laughs> I went to his wedding. <laughs> uh, Hillary Clinton, I think, is a terrific woman. I mean, I'm a little biased because I've known her for years. I live in New York, she lives in New York, and I've known her and her husband for years, and I really like them both a lot. And I think she really works hard, and I think she, again, she's given an agenda, it's not all of her, but uh, I think she really works hard, and I think she does a good job, and I like her. Do you think that uh, she says she's out at the end of this term, do you think we're going to see her again running for office? I think so. I think, you know, assuming she's healthy, which I hope she will be, uh, I think she probably runs uh, after the next four years, I would imagine. I just like her. I like her and I like her husband. Well, first of all, I know her very well and I know her husband very well and I like them both. And they are, uh, you know, just really terrific people. I like them both very much, but I think you'll be, you know, you'll be looking at the record of Hillary Clinton and how did she do as Secretary of State? Probably above and beyond everybody else and everything else. I don't know that Benghazi, it doesn't seem to have resonated like perhaps it should have. And I think that a lot of people will be looking at Hillary's record as Secretary of State. And she will be defending that record and I'm sure she'll do a good job of defending. 
the worst part was I named everybody. I named Donald Trump. I named everyone who I thought was a co-conspirator at the time. So I named, like, um, Alan Dershowitz, Donald Trump, uh, absolutely the Clintons. Um, you know, these are people that I saw coming and going that I knew were part of it. And I, I made it really clear that this is a very scary thing for children and that I see between five and ten girls a day going upstairs. And now that I know what's happening to them, I want it stopped. Somebody said, drain the swamp. I said, oh, that's so hokey. That is so terrible. I said, all right, I'll try it. So like a month ago, I said, drain the swamp. Place went crazy. I said, whoa, watch this. Then I said it again. Then I started saying it like I meant it, right? And then I said it, I started loving it. And the place loved it. It's drained the swamp. I mean, it's true. It's true. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. <laughs> 